Hi, my delicious latte. I'm Choco. Today, I'll be discussing to you guys about some of the regrets that I had as both a storyteller and a comic artist. Um, yeah, let's get started right now. The number one regret I had is that um, I did not start my story or drafting or drawing until I was in my late adult years which is 22 years old I'm 29 right now and um, what's so sad about it is that I didn't have a complete full portfolio of my work um, as of today and I didn't have any story completed and um, and yeah I, I was so sad <laughs> um, that uh, to learn that like, looking back oh what am i doing wasting all this time when i could be um writing um stories and building up myself and gaining experience through my own skills um as to what i could draw and um what story uh, can i make with my abilities um during my age <laughs> so yes um if you have any good ideas or something that never been done before uh go ahead and do so this is uh, based off of my own experience as a comic artist and i hope you will you guys will um uh do great on your stories and yeah Good luck, Jai. Um, and moving onwards, my second regret is that uh, if something has been done multiple times, such as um, let's say ninja, vampires, werewolves, etc., um, then I'm not gonna do it. Uh, I'm not gonna write story about them. But um, the thing is, is that um, even though let's say for example a story about werewolves, well, um since it has been done uh billions of times already uh, what's so unique about stories of werewolves well uh what's so unique about it is that i wrote it and i drew it <laughs> and um so if you guys have any of your own um interpretations or ideas or whatnot um go ahead and get started with your comic um do not be afraid if it's like a niche genre that has been done a lot of times and that uh, or if you fear that no one will check out your work because um and like i said it has been done already well not, it hasn't it doesn't have your own unique spin on it if you know what i mean like if you look up some of the more um uh great works such as one piece naruto or attack on titan they all have like something that has been done before such as for example one piece pirates um pirates have been in media for thousands of years now so uh, what's so great about the pirate genre in general well oda wrote it and he put his own spin on it um you, you know what i mean like you could write a story about let's say water and um it's still unique because you as an artist create that story about water <laughs> um so yeah I, I i hope um that uh clear things up and uh um uh, uh like i said my fans do not be fearful of um if your story have been done before well it ha it doesn't have you in it that's why <laughs> um that's why it sounds boring um moving onward to my next regret is that um i did not take art seriously i mean i went to an art high school um for four years and i've uh, gained a lot of experience on that but um like i said my heart wasn't in on it you know because um because uh at the time i, I didn't know what i wanted to do with my life but as I grew older and older, uh, I realized that um, that uh, uh, what I'm more passionate about is storytelling and drawing comics and uh, creating different worlds for my fans to enjoy. And yeah, that's my type of focus. And uh, and like like I said, uh, what 
I regret is that um, even though I have gained a lot of knowledge and skills, um, I didn't take things seriously enough, you know, because uh, again, I is sort of like a hobby to me and I didn't get paid to draw, so I didn't take it seriously. But if I were to had a job in the industry such as um, car, uh, animator or whatnot or comic artist for for a particular uh, comics, then yes, I will take my work more seriously. But for now, uh, I like I like the fact that I have a hundred percent freedom and um, and the ability to do whatever I like in my stories and I hope that my fans will uh, enjoy what I have to offer in the future so yeah I will link my comic account on Tapas in the comments um, so below and yeah check out my work you guys um, as for uh, what I will do in the future hopefully um, if my life has settled then yeah i will continue to draw and uh, bring you guys um many adventure and fun story to explore ahead uh so yeah stay tuned thank you for watching my videos i hope you found my tips helpful and that uh, you will succeed in your own journey if you decided to do whatever you want with your art or your storytelling ability okay that's all for me um choco out i hope you have a great day whatever you are good day good night goodbye <laughs> see you next time